For ISRO and India, the moon is just the beginning. What lies ahead is a very interesting era, hopefully, of leadership in space exploration. And to talk about this and more, I have with me Chris Hatfield, former commander of the International Space Station and the author of The Apollo Murders and The Defector. Chris, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure and a privilege to be speaking to you uh, as one of the former commanders of the International Space uh, uh, Mission. Demi, you saw Chandrayaan-3 landing on the South Pole of the Moon. How do you and the rest of the world interpret this? You know, it's, I don't want to speak for the rest of the world, but from, from what I've seen and what I've gathered, I think it's a bit of a surprise for the rest of the world. Now, I've known, obviously, about the Indian Space Corps program for decades and the accomplishments of ISRO and all the things that have happened. But until something really significant happens, it's like until someone wins a gold medal at the Olympics, Often you just don't pay attention. And with this accomplishment, with Chandrayaan successfully soft landing on the moon and now with the, uh, the rover driving around, it got the world's attention. This is a significant accomplishment, and I think it has really uh, enlightened the world as to what India is capable of. Now, Chris, you're the best person to tell us about this because you've actually been into space three times. If you ask anybody at ISRO, it seems very clear that what they're really looking at as the next big challenge is to get an Indian into space and an Indian spacecraft, the Gaganyaan mission, in other words. Talk to us a little bit about that. How getting a human into space is something altogether different, right? There's, there's life at stake out there. The stakes are therefore so much higher. When we launch uh, a, a satellite or a robot into space, if it fails, then it's it's you know tragic or, or it's sad but but when a human being is flying into space the stakes are so much higher it becomes uh, a, a, a global imperative it's a grand human adventure and the stakes are the highest and the risk is very high but everything worth doing in life and so i think the fact that India has now successfully landed on the moon, has chosen some astronauts, some of the best in the country who are training, and is building a vehicle capable of taking people to space. It's a logical enough step, but it is a very different step. Thank you so much, Chris, and we look forward to talking to you uh, in much greater detail when Gaganyaan is all set to go into space. Thank you so much for being with us.